But I mean, I, I would even ask you, like they can be the three. If you're in a four or five with Philly and Toronto, and I've already seen a lot of even like smart NBA people start to tweet this. Oh man, if it's Philly, Toronto, obviously played recently. If it's Philly, Toronto, like, oh man, a Toronto might upset them in the series. Like Toronto is going to have a better coach. Toronto is going to be able to play better defense. James Harden's terrible. Like it, how far Philly has fallen here. But now, even if I ask you, all right, it's Philly, Toronto, it's the four or five. Like, I mean, maybe off the top of your head, what would you make the price? But just like handicap the six or chances of even getting out of that series. It's really kind of a dark time to be a Sixers fan, given how <laughs> optimistic you might have been at the trade deadline. Oh, man. It's just a problem of, you know, it's the playoffs. Rosters get shorter, but this roster is already very short. The starting five is spectacular. If we could somehow play Maxi Harden, Seibel, Harrison, and Bede for 48 minutes a game, things would be fine. But it doesn't work that way. There's going to be a lot of Shake Milton. There's going to be a lot of Danny Green, a lot of George's Niang. I mean, the last two are, are okay, but... I mean, DeAndre Jordan's going to get serious minutes. Furkan Korkmaz is going to get serious minutes. We might even see some Paul Millsap. There's just a lot of struggling to figure out how to fill some of these minutes, honestly. And, you know, you look at the leader, Doc Rivers is not the guy you want at the helm trying to figure out how to piece this puzzle together so late in the season. So at the top end, the Sixers, again, have one of the best starting fives, if not the best starting five in the Eastern Conference. But once the game gets going and some of these guys get shifted out, especially with Seibel being unable to play in Toronto, it gets ugly. Would you, uh, would you be really happy if Doc Rivers accepted the position to be the Lakers coach next year? How would that make you feel as a Sixers fan? I've been trying not to think about it because it, it titillates me so Why much. not? I mean, it might be awesome. Yeah, think about it. Please uh, think about it. Yeah. I just I just don't want to get too excited. You know, it's like when you're a little kid and you think you're going to get that Christmas present you really want, you try to sort of tuck it away because <laughs> you don't want to get too excited because your hopes get up. But yeah, if Doc Rivers somehow leaves the Sixers and becomes the coach of the Lakers, I, I might have to get two Lakers jerseys. I'm already going to get a Lakers 2022 eliminated jersey. And maybe Lakers 2023, I'll get a Doc Rivers jersey or something.